Hi guys, so it's Luke here for Simbox. We're down here at Pure Impact Thai Boxing Club in Blackpool. Delighted to be joined by Will Goldie Galloway. Will, how are you doing? Good, mate, yeah. Just just sound like here in the air. Feeling good, can't wait for my first fight. Yeah, absolutely. Exciting time. So you've got a background in kickboxing. Yeah. You've recently signed your first professional boxing deal with Kieran Farrell Promotions, yeah. Vicious Promotions. Very exciting times. Yeah, so he's, he's thinking about doing a doing a show in Blackpool um, over the next, uh, this year, I think. So good to get on that in the hometown. Get yeah. a few fans behind it. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, in recent years, Blackpool's been known for Brian Rose. Yeah. Is he a friend of yours? Do you know Brian? Yeah, I know Brian. Yeah, I know him well, yeah. He's, uh, he's done well, obviously, set, set the way for uh, the other Blackpool lads, and I believe I can follow in his footsteps and even maybe do even better as well. So Yeah, it's high goals to reach. So you mentioned there previously that you've uh, you've got a kickboxing background. Take us through that. Like, How did you do in your kickboxing career? Um, what did you achieve? Yeah, I've done well in my kickboxing career. Um, I'm two times English champion. Um, <laughs> With with kickboxing, it's uh, it's it's I think it's a lot harder personally because you don't get the you don't get this so called journeyman and stuff like that. I mean, everyone in the fights in it to win it, so um, it's a lot harder in kickboxing. I, I signed with Glory Kickboxing, uh, my first fight for Glory Kickboxing. I fought number three in the world, Elvis Gashi from uh, New York, and then my second fight, I fought uh, the French number one in Paris. <laughs> two two hard fights, um, but. Great fights if you want to watch them on YouTube. Yeah, a good, a good watch. Two good wars. Um, I also come to bring the fight. So, absolutely. So you know, you mentioned there that you you say kickboxing is tougher. Uh, yeah. Have you come over to boxing for an easier time? Is that why the transitions come about? No, not an easier time. Obviously, there's there's a lot more money in boxing as well. And not that I'm chasing the money because I, I just love to fight no matter what it is. Kickboxing, uh, boxing, MMA, whatever. I'll I'll do it. Um. So I, I believe. I believe I've got the tools to be to be a real good boxer. Um, I mean, I've, I've sparred a lot of uh, great boxers in my time. Um, Calum Smith being one of them, I felt very comfortable. Um, so I believe I can I can do really well. You know, Kieran mentioned that on the way down that you sparred with Calum Smith. You know, that's quite a high yeah. level uh, sparring, or quite a high level of sparring for somebody that's yet to make the professional debut. So it kind yeah. of shows the the belief that you've got in yourself, but also others around you as well. Yeah, of course. I was uh, I was doing uh, his, his camp for Canelo. So I was one of his main sparring partners for Canal. I was there twice a week, and uh, that was that was good sparring. Yeah, I loved that. With your boxing career, you know you're going to reach. Or what levels are you aiming to reach? Are you going to have your personal goals? But how far do you believe you can go? I believe I can be world champion. Um, I just, I just, I love fighting. Um, I just want to, I want to come through everyone and, and smash everyone to bits. Do you know what I mean? I, I love that, that killer instinct in the ring. So. Yeah, it's great to hear that kind of enthusiasm. Yeah. What kind of weight class are you looking at, at fighting at? Have you got a, a weight in mind? Yeah, yeah, kickboxing, I fight at lightweight. I think it's, it's different in boxing. Um, 70 kilo, so be, I think it's like weight, I think maybe. Yeah, interesting. Super, super, super well, yeah. like middleweight. Yeah. So, in terms of boxing, who's your, your kind of guys that you, you go to to watch? Who's your, your inspiration? Who's your favourite fighters? Um, I love Canelo, Glofkin. Um, I think they've they've got very similar styles to myself, but obviously uh, Mike Tyson's the one for me, mate. I love. I just love the way he he sees things and uh, loves the way he, he always comes to to hurt his opponents and to and to knock them out, and that's why. I, that's what I like to do. You know, I was just going to say that there, it sounds like you're an all-action fighter to the gym. It's called Pure Impact. You, know, yeah. you model yourself on Mike Tyson, Canelo, Glovkin. Yeah. It's all promising a lot of excitement when the professional debut finally comes around. Oh, definitely. Yeah, you, you, don't, you don't catch me in a boring fight, mate. No way. You don't catch me in a boring fight. So I always come to fight and come for a good war. So. Exciting time. So what's the plan moving from here? Obviously, we're coming out of a pandemic. It's been a difficult time. I'm sure yeah. you've been training in the meantime. But yeah. how did you find the pandemic and, and training and keeping fit and motivated? And then what we're moving into in 2021? What's the plans? I, fa I found the pandemic all right, to be fair. I mean, I was, I was training. I was getting some good sparring, like Cam Smith and uh, some Max Morrill, Liam Smith, all down at Gallagher's gym. Uh, I was doing a lot of sparring down there. Um, so I've, it's not really affecting my training, really. But the, on the only thing for me, I've not fought over a year. So I'm just I'm itching to get back in that in that ring and get myself back into a fight. Um, so hopefully I can get me get my debut sorted, um, smash that one, get a few fights under my belt in the next year or two, and then uh, look to look to get some bigger fights. Exciting time! So we're looking forward to following the journey. Journey. Thanks for your time today, and uh, we'll catch up again real Perfect. soon. I'm sure. Thank you, mate. Cheers.